Why, hello there. I'm John Anthony Francis Wilcox, and these are six fantastic songs from Sheet Music. Before we go any further, the links to these songs can be found in the comment section below. You understand? We good? All right, so Sheet Music is the second album from the band 10CC and uh, came out in May of 1974, <clears throat> which would have made me a month shy of 14. There you go. And of course, 10CC were the original lineup of Eric Stewart, Graham Goldman, Kevin Godley, and Lal Cream. Height of their powers, it's tough to say it's a favorite album of them because there's so many good ones, but it's one of my favorites, certainly. Otherwise, I wouldn't have chosen six fantastic songs from it, would I? Would I? Would I? Hair lip, hair lip, old joke. Uh, smile if you know it. So we're going to start with song number one, which is the Wall Street Shuffle. Um, great rock and roll song. Uh, it's mostly about greed, but I think it also questions it. Um, oh, Howard Hughes, did your money make you better? Uh, but then it's followed with the line, uh, are you waiting for the hour when you can screw me because you're big enough to do the Wall Street Shuffle? Let your money hustle. You can sell your mother because you can buy another is one of the, the joyful lines of the song. Kind of a little bit of bitterness going in there, a little uh, truthful observation, shall we say, in song number one, which is the Wall Street Shuffle. <clears throat> song number two, cough, cough, is Hotel. Um, a very strange... Uh, piece with a lot of pretty loud harmony guitars in there be be aware and a very sweet vocal uh, main lead vocal from uh, Kevin Godley uh, and, and then but the chorus is the let's buy a hotel let's get a yacht you know um, are sung by all and it's a strange uh, story about being in a hotel uh, on an island on a cannibalistic island because it's them and they write wacky stuff <clears throat> that is song number two hotel for your enjoyment and edification song number three is old wild men which is um, I think a lot of it is really about I don't think I'm wrong for saying that it's um, got something to do with the music business. Um, well, definitely it has something to do with the music business. Gorgeous vocal. Absolutely gorgeous vocal. Love the arrangement. It's a piece of beauty. It's a thing of beauty. It's, it's quiet. It's slow. It's subtle. Um, it's wonderful. It's 10cc. It's fantastic. And it is song number three, Old Wild Men. Song number four is Clockwork Creep. Now, I'll tell you a story about this. So, one of the only times in my life I ever got on a plane was to go and be a guest at the 1989 San Diego Comic Con. I was flying in to, initially to Arizona, to go stay with my pal Mark and then we would fly in together the next day, take a shuttle over to San Diego. So I'm thinking, and this is back in, we'll say the cassette days. So I'm thinking, you know, I should put together a cassette, like a mix of songs that I like so I could relax because I wasn't looking forward to the plane. I, and by the way, I hated every minute of flying. Hated it. So 
I didn't think, I, but I put this song, Clockwork Creep, on there. And it's a song about a bomb on a plane. And it says, oh, you know, you'll never get me up in one of these again. Because what goes up must come. And they go down, 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 down. And the song is sung by the bomb. Tick, tick, time bomb, tick, tick, time bomb. And I just remember my colon was so tight you couldn't have passed a copper filament through it. <laughs> this song did not help, but I love the song. It is song number four, Clockwork Creep. Song number five is Somewhere in Hollywood, which is sort of a sweetly sung look at the underbelly of Hollywood. And um, again, beautifully sung, mostly by Kevin Godley in just an absolutely sweet voice. Um, a lot going on in there. Give it a listen. It's a cinematic piece. Much as Hotel is, I should, I should mention. They're both very cinematic in their feel. And uh, I, I love how it uh, talks about Lassie and I believe Marilyn uh, Harlow. And I think Marilyn Monroe's in there and other people. Some tap dancing music in there. All kinds of odd stuff. So that is song number five, Somewhere in Hollywood. And we close on a lighter note with song number six, which is the Sacroiliac, which is a dance. And it's such an easy dance because how you do the dance is to do nothing. If you're tired of hurting your back, hurting your other joints, you learn learn to do the sacroiliac, which is nothing. Just stand there and you're doing it. It's a great little piece. Again, fun harmonies, just a goofy feel about all of it. You could tell they were having fun putting it together. And I love the bass on it, by the way, by Graham Goldman. So it is the stuff. I'm wearing this hat that I... I've had for years and I lost it until this week when it turned up. So there you go. Hello hat. And goodbye to all of you. That was, uh, like I said, song number six, The Sacroiliac. These have been six fantastic songs from Sheet Music. I'm John Anthony Francis Wilcox. I love you all and I am out of here. Bye bye.